In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the Timeline Editor, a new feature in Unity 2017. First, I'm going to right click in my hierarchy, select 3D Object and Cube. This is going to create a cube game object in our scene. Next, I'm going to come up here to Window and select Timeline Editor. Now you'll notice that this Timeline Editor takes up the full space of our view. I'm going to click and drag the tab to snap it in place on the bottom. This is good for an animation workflow because up top we'll see the game object and what it's actually doing in our animation and below it we'll actually be able to work with the keyframes. I'm going to click create and it's going to come up here and ask me to name my playable. Now I'm just going to click save and just leave it with its default name for now. You could change the default name if you'd like. Now notice that when we did that, our cube was given two components. A playable director was added to our cube. The playable director is a new component as of Unity 2017 uh, to work with the timeline editor. There's also the playable class and interface, which we can also extend upon uh, to basically to make it more customizable. And then you have your traditional animator component here, uh, which would take an animation controller and such. Now, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to click record, and you're going to see now it says recording here. Now, that means that any changes I make to the cube now are actually going to be saved as keyframe animations. So, one thing I want to do is I want to toggle this from frames to seconds. So, now I'll be able to see in terms of seconds uh, what exactly is going on. Now, I'm going to drag this to about... Um, 10 seconds here and you know over the course of 10 seconds I want our cube to move let's say in the Z direction that amount so now you'll notice that um, we have a keyframe there for our cubes movement now here let's say if I go here to this 2 here or sorry 10 milliseconds here I'm realizing here this is the 2 second mark uh, I could drag it back now let's just see let's just see how this looks right here um, you know if I hit play it'll cycle through that now one thing I want to do here is I actually want to give uh, our uh, cube here like sort of like a rolling animation uh, sort of like a dice so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna jump in and use our our rotation tool and I'll rotate it and I'm gonna do that here and I'll do that here as well and now if we take a look we actually have a roll now. I want to give it a little bit more of a roll. So I'll roll it in this direction. And then I'll also give it, make it roll like that. So let's take a look. And now if we wanted this to loop uh, the roll, what we could actually do is we could come over here and we see play on a make. We see playable. We see wrap mode. And we could change that to loop. And we'll just click off so that that um, the rotation handle isn't on there. And now you'll see that our cube just continues rolling in the editor. So that's a quick look at how to actually animate objects using the timeline. Now, one thing you're going to want to note after I unplay here is you're going to want to click that recording button again to stop recording. And now here, uh, just like you know, similar to Maya and other types of animations, 3D animation software you can move this around and you'll see your cube move over those keyframes.